with the news desk keeping tabs on the latest national and international news happenings. Megan. Thanks, Alex. Good morning. Uh, well, a, a body was found north of the McClure Tunnel on PCH at 3 a.m. this morning. Officials say the death may be from a car collision or possibly a fall from the cliffs. PCH and the 10 westbound has been closed off indefinitely, and police are diverting traffic at 4th Street. The California Department of Transportation announced six miles of the PCH closure between Las Posas Road and Yerba Buena Road will be reopened. The stretch of road was shut down in December because of mudslides. High surf in January then washed away the slopes below the highway, requiring longer repairs. Work is expected to continue on the highway between Sycamore Cove and Yerba Buena Road until the end of February. Giovanni's, a family-owned Italian restaurant on PCH, is set to close at the end of this month. Owner Giovanni John Mazzola has decided to retire. Mazzola sold the equipment and liquor license to his nephew's corporation that owns other Italian joints in the surrounding area. Nephew Nando Silvestri plans to have a new restaurant in Giovanni's place by the beginning of April. Silvestri says the new eatery will be similar to Retrovo in the Pacific Palisades, but it's unsure of any further details. And recent trips to the beach may have yielded a disturbing surprise. Locals and visitors have flooded the phone lines of the California Wildlife Center with reports of sea lions washed ashore with their pups. The center embarked on a course of treatment that involves hydrating the seals before feeding them a formula and then moving them on to fish. The center has put together a small space for the pups, even though busy season for the Wildlife Center has not even started yet. Our own Carly Hanna spoke with the rehab manager yesterday afternoon and asked him why there has been such an increase in sea lions washing ashore this year. Uh, these are unprecedented numbers, even higher than the unprecedented mortality event of 2013. So we're looking at a really, really high season. We've got these 27 animals in about a week and a half. Um, and these are the only the ones that we could get. There's even more out there. Malibu beachgoers can either bring in the sea lion pups or call the Wildlife Center at 818-222-2658. Have you heard the buzz? Beekeepers in Fresno County are losing some big bucks thanks to beehive theft. Two thefts of almost 60 beehives each have cost beekeepers $50,000, according to the county sheriff. Officials say these criminals must have certain resources necessary to pull off such a crime. Farmers use the bees to help pollinate their crops. Farmers are being encouraged to label beehives with names, phone numbers, or even GPS trackers. Now Jenny has the buzz on the latest sports news over at the sports desk. Jenny, what do you have for us? We have breaking news, Megan. Derrick Rose has just come out of surgery, and officials are saying it was successful. The Chicago Bulls point guard walked out of the hospital earlier today after his knee surgery. Rose is expected to return to the game in four to six weeks. Running back Adrian Peterson scored a victory yesterday, but his legal battle is far from over. Peterson was suspended in December after he whipped his son with a switch. His appeal was officially denied by the NFL, but Judge David Doty overturned the appeal, or the denial. The NFL has already appealed Judge Doty's ruling. Peterson is currently on the exempt list, which means he is allowed to communicate with NFL teams. Pepperdine and Hawaii started their series yesterday with a high-scoring game. Junior Brad Anderson put the Waves on the board early with an RBI single in the first inning. The Waves had a 5-2 lead after five innings, but the Rainbow Warriors had a huge sixth inning. Hawaii scored seven runs in the sixth and tacked on five more in the eighth. The Waves were unable to overcome the deficit and lost to Hawaii with a final score of 15 to 8. The teams will continue the series this afternoon at 2 p.m. Pepperdine's men's basketball team will close out their season on Saturday against rivals LMU. If the Waves win, they will clinch their first winning record in, winning league record in over 10 years. They are already locked into the WCC Championships quarterfinal game between the fourth and fifth ranked teams. Pepperdine hopes that history will be on their side this weekend since they lead the all-time series by more than 30 games. The game will be at Firestone Fieldhouse at 3 p.m. Spring break starts this weekend, but Pepperdine sports teams won't have much of a break. The action kicks off this afternoon when women's ten tennis faces UCLA at 1.30. Baseball is also playing this afternoon when they continue their series with Hawaii at 2. 
Saturday is going to be another busy day for the Waves, when men's tennis and baseball will both be competing at one. Men's basketball will also play on Saturday when they close out their season against LMU. And to finish off this weekend's action, men's tennis and baseball will both compete at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Well, Shayla and Alex, I know a lot of people will be out of town this weekend, but for anyone who's staying, the good news is that there will be plenty of sports to watch. Yeah, definitely a lot of action going on with the uh, Pepperdine sports. That's yeah. really, really lots of neat. good games, which is nice because not everyone is going out of town for spring break or if they Why leave not? later. Why not? Malibu. <laughs> I mean, there's not yeah. Can't complain. There, there's a lot to do here. Anyways, well, it's time to refill your coffee cup because we've got, the, uh, we've got entertainment news coming up next. Yes, and more Frozen fun. Is there a sequel on the way? We have the scoop.